Hello guys, uh, this is the second programming uh, lecture and I'm gonna redo the uh, string printing a string to the output and here going back to how does a uh, master program look like what does it start with include the include airline 32 dot inc dot code and we have before it the dot data now we're going to use that dot data we're going to need it and I have main process and then we have exit and main and process and end main I need to uh, print a string so what we need to do is define a string and here's how we define remember in the dot data section in uh, C++ we always had the data type before the first thing like we say uh, integer num1 then the variable in uh, massim it's different I don't write mass uh, message this is my old list for string one and I'll do define byte or byte by itself it can take it either this or the word byte or this and now and a word double quotes or single quotes it works any one of them and I'll have a dollar sign a dollar sign I'm gonna read the dollar sign indicating what the end of the string or here we don't need it and call okay here we don't need it and remember we can use 0 ah uh, 0 dh and 0 those are for the new line and the character let me see that to change the volume of the so this is my string now how do we print it and that's so easy but first I have to get the offset or the address of the string move edx and I say what well, mm -hmm. offset msd or oh, string one sorry I change it to string one get the offset of that string put it in edx and now y the call uh, right string works on that register it goes and gets whatever address it has there and prints it to the user and this is the call right string It's easy here, but it's not going to be easy. Yes. Uh, now, when I save it, this is this apparently is that way. When you save it, it goes and gives you. It changes the font size. I don't know why. But let's see the output. I want to see if we can change the output. Okay, I think I know how to change it, but I'll, I'll change it after this. So we go tools. Oh, we didn't save it. Save it as program 
to and remember what the dot asm dot assembly you see it's changed immediately now what we're going to do tool build 32 masm no errors good and now print me my name and you can see at the top here it says get a better and under it press any key to continue and we said the 0a8 0d8 is one of them for the character chain and one of them for uh, going uh, a new line so this is basically a new line and assembly we can put single quotes for a string or for a character and assembly doesn't matter between strings and characters if you remember in C C++ the strings come in double quotes and characters in single quotes here uh, they're the same so now what we need to do we printed this We need to go implement it on DOS. And hopefully DOS won't give us a headache. I just wanna turn it off so I'm having the video translate. And we wanna I wanna do something before going to DOS is writing the code and then we can go to DOS <coughs> why have DOS oh but I don't want to write it in the editor the one that comes with DOS I can go just go pick a G edit file so we can what no assembly files now come on oh, wow. What happened with this? Close. And we do <coughs> new. And here now we're gonna start with this is the video thing. We're gonna start with the Mass and low level to print a string. We're going to start with model. Oops, it's not printing. Dot model, which is a directive. And we're going to say small. And remember, we said this is a memory uh, model to say this model is going to be small. Because we're using small programs. We have stack. Let's say dot stack. Oops. Dot stack and give it a size of 100 we're not going to use it anyway and now we have dot data and we're going to have we, we can have it the same thing string one define byte and we're going to have let's do single quotes Here it's really important to put uh, the dollar sign. And we put 0, A8. I'm not sure, is it this massive? I think this 0 might take it 0. D8. And zero and now we're gonna have the dot code why am I doing that dot code and we're gonna do it again and first thing we want to do more well ax the address of the segment at 
or data and then move it to the DS register DS data segment which was the address of the data section and now how are we gonna print a string we need a system call for it number of a system call I remember I said one is to read two is to write to the console but write a uh, character so here what we do with the string is it has its own um, and we can see say okay we need to move the offset first so move dx offset of string 1 and now what we do is we call the move ah remember for system calls I'm gonna always use move ah and the number of that one is 09 for printing a string so this is is that enough no we need the exit which is move but h we said it's four c h and now what do we do call the interrupt interrupt the doors call the doors interrupt 21 h and do I have the end begin we we'll put the end begin at the long okay and we we'll have the end begin here now let's save this where was I saving and now we have massive oh, a program program to program to dot ASM and now we can open DOS and remember we need the first thing mount it I need to mount it to where my uh, massing is and this we get this way so you can see what's going in the back so I'll do mount C and I'm gonna mount the uh, directory home okay and we're gonna have our um, 80 86 and remember you can download this on Windows also to emulate mm, the DOS so we have NASM and we had program did I put two on that one? two word ASM no errors and now I do link and I'm gonna do program two dot OBD went good so now we do program to to run it and it didn't give me any output so why if I did program to dot e s e x e well we did it yesterday
Wolf A H. Oh, we're going to have to need an exit zero. An exit zero. And I think this is how we did it here. And this is how we do it in NASA. Was it A H zero? I think if I recall we did it this way. Or adding a zero. Come on, they're making a big deal. Program to dot exe. Do we put it? And come with the object. Oh, I have something in my mind. Hmm. I don't think it's the zero also. That's causing the problem. So let's execute it. Okay, I don't want. Okay, we stay on the safe side, guys. I need the side, but I can use the usually the side is stored in EAX and address. Okay, let's debug it and see what's going on. Debug and program to dot ASM. R dot exe and we're gonna do it to do a symbol and let's see trace one first thing we did move the address to AX0768 and you can check above it is the right at A so you know 8A and now we do T again did anything change So then, T again. <coughs> okay, my bad, guys. We can't put. Each one has its uh, interrupt. So this goes and calls interrupt and 21H. Oh yeah, that makes more sense. Mm. And we have mass M. Oh, let's put the debugger. Mass M. Program 2.asm. And we're going to do a link to that. What 
was it, man? Two did OBD. And I'm going to execute program 2.exe. Voila, here it's working. You can see it's printing gates and better in as the last name too. And that's good, finished.